Alright guys, back in another video, and this time we're going to be going over my updated cooler list and the the changes that I've made for the format and things that I would then I would side deck if I had them and or main. But cooler leader still the same gimmick of the deck is make, duck your opponent out with decreasing your opponent's skills, and you draw a card in your opponent's turn if you're using a battle card skill. Attack a leader, draw a card, four or less life, untap one, draw one. Same exact effect on the back side, except for you draw cards in your opponent's turn and your turn when you decrease things for the first time. The battle card effects. Really good at gaining advantage on the back side. Uh, we're playing a red blue deck. Rival centered. So you play your four check lands, which also minus things, which is important to know. Four beers to restand and to have red blue energy available for your rival cooler which mills your opponent three cards if you have to, if you have two battle cards minus ten ignore barrier which is good for clearing off pesky things and or just ending battle cards like during battle like or during combat in general or you can do it on your opponent on your turn as well to clear things and take your opponent out and draw cards Majin Buu draws your card and draws your card for your leader so he draws two cooler draws one on your opponent's turn if you do for well for the first effect that is and in turn he resands uh sorry returns a blue or red battle card back to your hand, which is optional. Very good engine, sixteen red blue cards. Four one drop Frieza, this is super good in this deck, but against some of these aggro decks, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to get away with it. But it is good a good tempo play to use some of your energy, even if you are in an aggro matchup and you do have red blue beers. This, this card also minus is ten th things activate battle not once turn. Uh, minus 10 for duration of battle. Super good. It triggers your leader effect to draw cards and mill. For your unison, I'm still playing Jiren. Um, when your opponent plays a battle card or a unison card, you might, I might, may choose that card and minus 10 it for the turn. And you negate that skill for the turn. So you can only use it once per turn. It also works on your turn as well. So this guy mills you. And he also gains double strike, 20k. He's hard to remove. He's 20k unison. So they don't usually like the way he swings at it, which is good. Also, the minus three effect is insane. Minus twenty five k something during a battle, which is important to know if they try to all in on you. On you, they have to worry about that effect the entire game. This guy's on the board. Since they're playing Jiren as your unison, you really want to get them on board so that your Yamchas are alive. This is the free play counter, and then you have counter attack Wolf Fang Fist. I was thinking about playing three, but I had to trim it down to fifty cards. So, if you find room for this, go for it. But I'm tempted to play Violent Rays, but I need that card. Uh, so I'm not sure if this guy is going to stay around too much longer. But minus 15k for free is pretty nice, and it fits the theme. Three Vegeta Exploiting Weakness. This guy minus 20k the entire board. And he's, he's a three-drop battle card. And, yeah, because my leader's red. And counterplay. Also, it, it boosts your leader by 5k for the turn if it's your opponent's turn, so this helps you defend yourself. Also, if you tap 3 on your opponent's turn, you have, like, Beerus super combos. You're not really too afraid to tap out, which is really nice. Three combo tech cool. This guy says activate battle, pay one blue, return one Frieza clan. So you bounce cooler back to your hand or one drop Frieza, and then you play him and when he attacks, he combos with a red-blue battle card, which would typically be your super combo. Which is really nice at the end of the game. So I do not play an overrun currently. So the super combo will be in the drop at all times. Or a red blue card of some sort if they kill you in your red blue cards. So this leader is filled with like um, anti like big cards. And if you're playing against green anyways you're not going to be using this card. But unless you bait out their uh, dormant potentials. But this card is super good. And tempo -y, so it fits the theme of the deck and also helps you end the game if, you, if your goal in that matchup is not to deck them out. Some matchups you really do need to just focus on decking them out, but this deck is pretty aggressive once it gets the ball rolling, so this just helps end the game. Also, typically you want to try to play this on the turn you awaken, which makes it to where you have more energy on your opponent's turn to play defense. Three Master Roshi Negate. This card is super good at filling its role for a blue card to combo with after you negate. So I still play this card. I think it's very relevant. And yeah, it's just a good counter attack that helps you arrive alone cards if you do not see your super combo. 
Uh, typically, you really do want to play some defense and make sure that you're surviving. So this negate in combination with this negate is really nice. So you can activate with dispersion and then play Master Roshi and yeah, and if you have another energy open, combo this and a red card and a rival and survive yourself and advance your game state and draw cards and make them mill. And the last four cards are for Sinzu Bean. This card is super good in this deck. Um, not just playing defense, but being offensive with your in the sense that you're offensively playing defense. And mainly, when I refer to this, I meant your arrival plays and one drop Frieza. Uh, I have been known to have multiple of these in my hand and a super combo, so that's all the reef stand in the world. So, for example, you have say any number of this, and you only have like a few energies open or no energy open, and so they think they're safe to go in. You super combo this in, you since you been. All the way up. So you have four energy now, right? You can pay four red and minus 40k something. So that will kill almost every card in the game. Uh, that's not just saying that you have you know, other outs other than that. Because just say if you had a few of these and a few other ways to, you know, say another one of these or anything like that. You can minus them 50k if you really need to. But typically 40k will kill almost everything in the game. So... Very hypothetical, but it's happened to me quite a few times because this deck does draw a bit of cards, and you don't mind um, taking damage early on. So, because your awakening inside is super good. But uh, if you have any, I've seen people play the Gogeta build. I'm not sure about it. And also, if you didn't notice, I cut this card. I was playing it. I'm not sure if I want to go back to it or just side it. This is mainly there for green, and then making you discard, and this deck's making you discard in general. But this card in general is. Not the like goal. This is a tempo play, and since you didn't draw very well, and it's not necessary. But if, say that makes the deck a little more budget if you're looking to build that type of build. But thank you guys for watching once again, and subscribe for more videos. Uh, plan on doing a Herodogon Blue Green update with the sealed music box and all the engine and stuff. So stay tuned for that. Deuces.